guys, ito na yung ating uh, kasunod na topic or chapter 6 uh, natin sa status of rigid bodies. Yung centroids and center of gravity. So, meron na dito example. Ito yung uh, ano natin, um, object okay, or structure. And syempre yung ating structure is merong weight. Sabihin natin ang weight niya is nakalocate dito. Hindi natin alam kung saan yung exact ang mudaan niya. Location ng weight. Okay. So, sabihin dito yung ating weight. And, okay, meron tayong support at A. So, ngayon, para mag-equilibrium yung ating uh, structure, dapat yung uh, line of action ng ating uh, support is magkukul linear or magkukuinside with the location of the center of gravity. So, ibig sabihin, kung i-extend natin yung line of action ng ating support at A, dapat magkukuinside dyan sa center of gravity. Okay, yan. Sabihin natin ito yung location ng ating center of gravity. Okay? Ngayon, kung gagawin naman natin yung ating support, o ilalagay natin ng ating support na to, which is a link or a cable, support at B, okay, nilagay natin dito, ang mangyayari, yung ating uh, object is gagalit at tama. So, yung support at A natin is andito na. Okay? So, ngayon, ito na yung origin, uh, ito yung uh, line of action ng ating support at A. Then, at ito yung, uh, yung weight ng ating object. Ngayon, from the support at B, kagaya na sinago kanina, dapat pag equilibrium ng ating object from that support, ngayon yung uh, uh, line of action ng ating support at B is i-extend natin hanggang mag-coincide doon sa center of gravity ng ating weight or sa location ng ating weight. So, kapag in-extend natin yung line of action ng ating support at B, so, natin, andito siya, okay? At, mag, uh, at mapapansin natin na mag intersect yung uh, line of action ng ating support at A at ng support at B. At yung intersection na yun is yung location ng ating center of gravity. So, kapag naglagay pa tayo ng ano dyan, ng... Uh, support at C. So, mula dito, gaganto na naman yan. Then, magkukamipin sa ito naman yung line of action ng support na yun pagpunta doon sa location ng ating support or location ng ating center of gravity. And, yung intersection na yun, yun yung location ng ating center of gravity or location ng ating overall weight of that. Okay? So, for example, ito yung ating center of gravity. So, meron tayong uh, Uh, X, Y, and Z axis. So, ito yung ating uh, 3D na object and flat surface, uh, ano, uh, flat object to. Ito yung ating WT or overall weight na meron tayong components na weight na W1 and W2 na nakalocate sa point 1 and point 2. So, kung kukunin natin ang position or location ng ating overall weight from the X axis, sabi natin ito yung ating uh, weight. So, kung tingin natin sa, ano, sa X axis natin and Z axis, makikita natin na dito nakalocate yung ating W2 at point 2. And dito naman nakalocate yung ating W1 at point 1. So, ito yung location ng ating center of gravity. So, ngayon, sabi natin ito yung ating uh, location ng ating W1. Tabagay natin X over 1. Ito naman yung location ng ating uh, overall weight. Sabi natin X bar. Tapos ito naman yung location ng ating W2. Tabagay natin X bar 2. Okay? So, para ma-solve yung ating overall weight, kagaya lamang ito ng pag-solve natin sa parallel forces. So, gagamit tayo ng uh, analytical principle na tinatawag ating moment. And alam natin na sa moment, yung summation of overall uh, resultant is equal to the summation of all parts of that resultant or parts na nag-result no sa resultant or no sa ating components. Okay? So, dito, yung summation of moment natin from O is also equal to the summation uh, okay, uh, sorry yes, summation of 
summation of moments from O is equal to the summation of all parts. Okay? Siyempre, ang gusto natin dyan, equilibrium. Okay? So, sa medic, clockwise is positive yan. So, dito, yung moment natin na overall na WT multiplied by X bar is also equal to uh, W1 multiplied by X bar 1 plus W2 multiplied by X bar 2. So, dito makuprove natin na makukuha natin ang w, uh, yung ating X bar kapag sinamit natin lahat ng weight mula doon sa kanilang mga uh, position in terms of X axis. Ganun din naman sa ating uh, Y and Z axis. So, ito yung ating WT and kung tinan sa Y axis and dito yung ating W1 or weight 1 from point 1 nandito naman yung ating W2 from point 2 and ito yung location ng ating center of gravity so yung ating W2 is nakalocate sa Y bar 2 ito naman yung ating overall Y bar and ito naman yung Y bar 1 okay so, kung the summation of moment at O is equal to 0, clockwise is positive. So, W, T multiplied by Y bar is also equals to W, 2 multiplied by Y bar 2 plus W, 1 multiplied by Y bar 1. Or simply, yung ating... Uh, total moment made from the resultant is also equals the summation of all moments na makikreate ng ating mga uh, parts or components multiplied by uh, y bar. Okay? So, halos para sa sa ating parallel force. Okay, so ito naman yung uh, centroids of areas and line. So, to determine the centroids of areas and lines, we use the moment of areas and lines. That is, the moment of the total area is equal to the moment sum of its part or of its components. So, same goes with the lines. So, kung ababalikan natin yung equation kanina, yun yung uh, uh, overall uh, width multiplied by x bar is equal to the summation of all uh, moments sum of its Parts. So, ganun din sa ating area and line. So, ibig sabihin, ang, so in terms of x-axis, uh, total area multiplied by overall x-bar is equal to the summation of all area multiplied by their uh, x-bar. Okay? And ganun sa ating uh, y-bar. Ang total area multiplied by y-bar is also equal to the summation of the sum of its part. Okay? Ganun rin naman sa line, uh, total line multiplied by x bar is equal to the summation of all line multiplied by their uh, uh, distances from any point or from the point na kung saan magsisimula yung ating x bar. Ganun din yung sa y bar. So, L multiplied by total L or total length of line multiplied by y bar is equal to summation of all uh, or, or sum of its part. Okay? So, centroids by integration. So, dito, i-equate lamang natin yung ating uh, i-equate natin yung equation natin dito in terms of integration. So, yung ating uh, L total multiplied by x bar is equal to the integral of uh, integral of summation or integral of x multiplied by dA from x1 to x2. So, ganun rin sa ating uh, y bar. Uh, total area multiplied by y bar is equal to the integral of y multiplied by dA from y1 to y2. So, yung sabihin yung ating dA is the area of the small element or small uh, yes, a small strip. Okay? 
So sa line, ah, sorry, this is total line. So L multiplied by x bar is equal to the integral of L multiplied by dl. Ah, sorry, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, x multiplied by dl from x1 to x2. So, so y bar, total L multiplied by y bar is equal to the integral of y dl from y1 to y2. Okay? So, ito yung uh, introduction ng ating centroids and center of gravity.